this year hit Pilates class. Think about it with elements of Pilates, strength training, and high intensity cardio. We're gonna put it all in one class to make you feel your best. We're gonna work from your center core into your legs and upper body. Let's get started. Separate your feet hip width apart, give me a soft bend your knees, have your athletic stance. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, big stretch. Exhale, chin towards the chest, roll on down one vertebrae at a time, walk your hands down into a high plank position, find your high plank right here, press out and away from your shoulder blades, beautiful, just hold it here, pike your hips up, look down towards your toes like a downward facing dog, and then give me a slow body wave forward, warm up that spine, bend your knees, Walk your hands back towards your toes, pressing through your heels, rise up, look up to the ceiling, stretch yourself tall. Take it back down, we're gonna do one more. Bend your knees, walk your hands all the way down onto that mat, find your high plank, press into your palms, out and away from your shoulders, belly button to spine, bring your chin to the chest, pike those hips up, stretch those shoulder blades nice and far back, and then slowly bring me that body wave forward, round in that spine, pull it all the way in front, Bend your knees, walk your hands back towards your toes, pressing through your heels, rise all the way up to standing, inhale. Beautiful, now let's take it down onto your mat. We're gonna take this into an ab roller with a push up. We're gonna engage center core with upper body. I want you to place your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees go behind your hips, tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your inner thighs together. Now take a deep breath right here. I want you to slowly give me a push up, down for one, down for two, press up for one, up for two. Now walk your left hand out, right hand out, bring your right hand back underneath your shoulder, left hand underneath your shoulder. And then give me again that two count push up here. And then we're gonna do the other side, right arm out, left arm out, bring it back in nice and slow. You're just gonna walk your hands out. This is imitating a little bit that ab roller we have in the gym, just reaching those arms out, right? This is working right here on your postural muscles. We're reaching those arms long and then adding that push up. And as always, your push up doesn't have to be so long. Your push up can be right here. It's a small bend and just reach those arms out towards the mat. We got 10 more seconds right here. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale, walk it out. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly drop down onto your forearms, find your forearm plank. Now if you can, maybe come up onto your toes, find your forearm plank right here. Again, you can be on your knees if you want to, right? That's totally up to you. Whatever feels good on your body, just hold. Now bend, right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee, you're using those lower abdominals to pull it down. If this is too much, I just want you to hold it right here. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees down, find a little child's pose right here, stretch those arms nice and long, drop your forehead down onto your mat, and now slowly pull yourself up, shake out those arms, and let's come up into a standing position. All right, stand up, shake out those legs. We're gonna take this into a reverse lunge. I'm gonna face towards the side, left foot steps forward, and I'll step your right foot into a reverse lunge. Deep down here, think about right knee trying to tap the mat. I have a slight hinge in my upper body. I don't wanna be too upright. When you're too upright, you're gonna be much more in the quad, and it's pushing a little bit more too down into that right kneecap, so slight hinge. Now pull yourself all the way up. Step your right foot to the left, right foot steps back, Find your reverse lunge, beautiful. And then come back up. Really think about power through that front leg, left quad, left glute, as well as your left hamstring. And remember, your core is engaging the entire time. It's holding you up. We're holding this low at the bottom in five, four, stay strong, three, two, and one. Meet me down low in that reverse lunge. Bring your hands on the hips, tiny pulse. Pulse down an inch, down an inch. We're really gonna feel the fire right now on that left side here, tiny small pulse. You got eight. We're gonna add a little bit of cardio. I'm gonna sprinkle it in in three, in two, and one. Hold it right here, extend your right leg out, reach your arms in front of you. Step your right foot to the left, pull your arms back, reach it back forward. Step and out, step 
and bring it back out. Now add a little bit of speed if you can. In and out, in and out. Challenge yourself. Your left leg is super stable here the entire time. Press into your left heel. Your thigh should be on fire. You got eight, seven, six, five. Take it back into your reverse lunge in three, two, Take it down into our reverse lunge. Just hold it here. Press into your left heel. Rise up. Straighten both legs. Take it back down. That's it. No more walking back and forward. Last five. Last four. Last three. Two and one. Drop that onto your knees. Whew. That left leg should be feeling this right now. Take it down into your quadra position. Knees underneath your hips. Hands underneath your shoulders. Spine is nice and long. Pick up your left leg. Find your donkey kick position. Flex your foot. We're lowering your left leg down towards your mat. Pull it all the way up, squeeze your glute. Lower your left leg down to the mat. Lift it up, squeeze your glute. If you wanna level up a little bit, you can try to bring your right arm behind your low back. It's gonna give you a little bit more core stability if you want a little bit more. Otherwise, just keep it down and give me that donkey kick up, yeah. All right, we're gonna hold this at the top in 10, nine, eight, seven, smile through that burn, in four, three, two, hold it nice and high, flex your foot, tiny pulse. I know, those sneaky little pulses, tiny pulse. You'll always get them in Pilates. You got five, hold in four, three, two, and one, hold it right here. We take this now into a hamstring curl. Extend that left leg out nice and slow. And now scrape your right heel towards that left butt cheek. Beautiful. Extend it all the way out. Point your foot out and then flex on the way in. Try to keep that left knee in alignment with your left hip. Again, tuck your tailbone under again, right? Don't arch your back. Last eight. We're gonna keep that left leg nice and straight in five, four, three, two, left leg nice and long. You tap your left foot down to the floor, push down onto it, pull your right knee to the chest, Bring it down, lift your left leg up. Left foot onto the floor, right knee to the chest, press into your palms. We're activating core, right? It's a full body exercise right here. You're pushing through the top of your shoulders, through that right oblique and that left side. Yes, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, let that go. And now we're gonna take this into inner thigh. This is one of my absolute favorite exercises. I'm sure you're gonna love this. We're gonna lay down onto your left side. So your bottom leg is at the bottom, left leg is extended. Hook your right elbow behind your right knee, just like this. Press into your left form. Now we're gonna pick that left leg up, lifting it up, lower it back down. You don't have to lift it so high, right? It can just be up an inch and down an inch. If this doesn't feel good, bring your right foot down, right hand down, and lift it right from here. Yep, that's it. Point your foot, lift, and lower. Now, if you wanna take this further, you wanna make this a little harder, grab your right ankle, stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling. That's your advancement. Breathe. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and one, hold that left leg high. Give me a tiny pulse with that left leg, so small. Again, modification, right foot is down. Beautiful, small, small. We're extending both legs in four, in three, in two, extend both legs, tap your heels together, little taps. You're gonna find right oblique, both in our thighs, little taps, little taps. Reach your right arm up, look towards the ceiling. If this is too much, bring your legs lower. You have five, four, three, two, Woo, release. Beautiful job. Shake it on out. We're gonna finish this off with that left side. Now we go into bilateral legs. So this is gonna be a little bit more of a high intensity exercise. You can take it in your pace. Turn your feet nice and wide out. We're gonna drop down into a plie squat. Bring your hands down to the mat. Walk it out, out, hold it. Step your feet in, in. Hands to prayer, rise up. Sink low. Hands on the mat, step your left foot back, right foot back, pull your right foot wide in, left foot wide in, like a little frogger pose. Now, your advancement here. Lower down, hands on the mat, jump it out, jump it in, pull yourself back up to standing. That's your advancement, doing a moving plie jump squat. 
Beautiful, push through here guys. Come on, again, if this is too much, you just walk it out, just like this. One by one, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, whoo, stand up, shake it out. And we're gonna take it into the other side. Right foot forward, left foot steps back into that lunge. Deep lunge, hold your position here. Again, remember, slight hinge in the upper body to get a little bit more into your glute. Chest up, shoulders back, and step all the way up. Press into that right heel, step it back, deep lunge, and come back up. You don't have to go so low, especially if you have problems with your knees, make this smaller, right? You can just have a small bend that knee, step it back right here, and then come back up. Inhale, exhale, pull yourself up. Really connect with your breath here right now. You should be a little bit out of breath from those Pilates burpees. In eight, we hold it low. In four, three, two, hold it all the way back. Left knee underneath your left hip, give me a tiny pulse in our right standing glute, tiny pulse. Left knee is trying to go down towards the mat right here, tiny. Yes, you got eight. I got your little cardio burst on deck in four, in three, in two, stick with me here. Extend your left leg, reach those arms long. Pull that left foot in, push those arms back, reach it all the way forward. Step it in, push it back. Yes, you can, I know you can. You can stick through it. Push, inhale, exhale. Now, maybe add a little bit of speed here if you can. The right side should be on so much fire right now. There you go, come on. You got 10, nine, eight, Seven, drop it back into your lunge in four, in three, in two, and one, drop back into your lunge. Big exhale, just hold it here. Now, press up, both legs extend, take it back down. It's that stable lunge right here. Last eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna drop onto your mat in three, two, and one, drop onto your mat. Whew, all right, we're feeling that right now. We're rocking and rolling. Knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. We take it right into your donkey kick. Again, don't forget, you can always take breaks, take sip of waters, and then meet me back on the mat. Lift your right leg up, heel up towards the ceiling, flex your toes. Now, lower your right knee down towards the mat. Inhale, exhale, kick it up into that donkey kick. Remember, if you want a little bit more core work, bring your left arm behind your low back. That's it, try it out. Last eight, seven, six, five, hold it high in four, three, two, hold it all the way high, give me that tiny pulse. I know, it's that sneaky little pulse, flex your foot, kick that heel up to the ceiling. You got a little sticky glue on it, you're trying to get it off. Last eight, seven, hamstring curling, three, two, and one, hold it high. Extend your right leg out, point your foot, Flex your heel, pull that right heel towards your hamstring and extend it back out. Last five, keep your leg straight in three, in two, and one, keep your right leg straight. Tap your big toe down to the floor, push into your palms, lift your left knee to the chest. Bring it back down, lift your right leg up, not too high, watch your low back. Tap and lift. So really think about pressing from your palms down into the mat like you're trying to push it away and then lift back up. Squeeze that glute at the top. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, bring it all the way in. Shake it out. Take that little child's pose if you need to. And then we're gonna take it right back into that inner thigh. This time, you're gonna lay down onto your right side, hook with your left arm behind your left knee, extend your right leg. Point your foot. Now, modification, step your foot down to the floor and lift from here. Lift your right leg slowly up for two counts, bring it back down. You're focusing on the inner thigh. Inhale, exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower back down. If you want a little bit more, grab onto that ankle, stretch your leg high, and lift from here. So we're not just working your inner thigh here, right? You're also gonna feel that left top oblique. Eight seconds, we're gonna meet at the top. In four, three, two, hold it high, give me a little pulse. Keep smiling, you got it. 
small pose. We're extending both legs for those little heel taps. In three, two, both legs extend, reach your left arm up, tap your heels. Little taps, little taps. They can be higher, they can be lower. That's it, tap it, tap it. Yes, you can. Last five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees. Let's lay that onto your back. All right, we're gonna take it back down into your center core. Lift your legs into tabletop. Fingertips go behind your head. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Press into your low back. We take this into a slow bicycle crunch. Right elbow, twist towards the left knee. Bring it back center, twist. Left elbow to the right knee. Super slow with control. We're not trying to go fast. Not yet, at least. There you go. We got 10 more seconds, slow. And then we speed it up. Last five. We speed it up in four. In three, two, and one. Let's speed it up. Left, right, left, right. Push through here. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful, really twist into those obliques here. Team, we got 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, hold in three, two, hold it here for a second. Give me a hollow hold. Extend your legs and arms behind you. If this is too much, just bend your knees and hold those arms right behind you. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop it down. Hug the knees to the chest. We're almost at the finish line. Last one here, guys. Last two exercises. Come on up, shake it all out. The last exercise, going to be high intensity. So get all the last power you have in you into the last few exercises here. Hands underneath your shoulders, feet all the way curled up into that high plank. Now, right knee, left elbow, step it back. Left knee, right elbow, step it back. Now, if you're good here, start to run. Twisted mountain climbers, opposite knee, opposite elbow. If this is too much, drop onto your knees. Just give me little shoulder taps right here. That's your modification. Fight for this burn right here, guys. Keep your heart rate up. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Hold in three, in two, and one. Down onto your forearms, just hold your plank. 10, say it with me. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down onto your knees. Open your child's pose, reach those arms long, drop your forehead onto your mat. Take a big inhale. Exhale, sit down onto those heels. Inhale, exhale, drop a little lower onto those heels. Now slowly pull yourself back up. Gonna take this into a little hip flexor and hamstring stretch. I want you to step your left foot forward, pull your right knee back. Keep your hands down by your sides. You're feeling that stretch down your right hip flexor right here. Now keep your right hand down, reach your left arm up for a little spinal twist. If the spinal twist doesn't feel good, just stay down with your left hand on the mat. Look up towards your hands, and then slowly bring your left hand back down. Shift your hips back, straighten that left leg in front of you. Flex your toes, feel the back side of your hamstring. Now, if you want, you can also sit down onto your back heel if this feels better for you. Slowly pull yourself back up. Swing that left leg behind. Big step with the right foot forward. S swoosh that left knee a little bit more back so you really find that left hip flexor right here. Keep your hands down first. I want you to inhale. Exhale, sit a little deeper. And reach your right arm up for that little spinal twist. Remember, you don't have to do that spinal twist if it doesn't feel good. Slowly bring your hand back down. Shift your hips back. Find your hamstring stretch. Flex your toes. Feel the back side of your hamstring stretch out nice and long here. And then if you want to take it further, you can sit down onto your back heel, reaching towards your toes. And then slowly swing your right leg behind. Come onto the edge of your mat. Pull yourself all the way back up onto your feet. Find a mat with stands and then sink low into a deep squat. I want you to press your elbows into your inner thighs. Press, 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 hold it low. Bring your hands down to the mat, fold on over, drop your head, straighten those legs, and then grab the opposite elbow, rock your upper body side to side. Shake out your head, yes. Shake out your head, no. Release those hands, bend your knees, roll on up one vertebrae at a time. Give me a big shoulder roll to the back. 
big shoulder roll to the front. Inhale, reach up, look up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer. Amazing job, guys. So proud of you that you crushed through this workout. This was not an easy one. Come back to it, you will get better at it, trust me.